I'm not spinning anymore after this, lads. I think this is it. Oh! All right, boys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet just to get the review out in quick time. This is what you get with Honus, and I'm going to show you the secret build. A lot of the secret builds that you're seeing now and the meta builds are because of the double booster, but this is what you're getting with Honus, lads. He's unbelievable run and gun attacking midfielder, excellent dribbling, excellent, fin excellent finishing, and of course, you will see there that we had the ball roller, the advanced double touch on him. That is something that we trained onto him with the skills. But even just his left stick dribbling and his positioning, his finishing, his strength... He's a very unique card. Very, very unique card. Now, we'll have to play with him a little bit more. I think the gameplay's gone a little bit funky since last Thursday and Friday, but he was dominating for us in that attacking midfielder. We just want him to be able to kind of, kind of cover every blade of grass from attacking midfielder from left to right, linking up with the wingers, or if you're playing a more traditional. I would not recommend this formation, lads. Out wide just does not work currently at the way the game plays at the moment. You have to play central if you want the best out of your players. That's just the way the game is. It's a pity, but that's just the way it is gone straight away. Everybody's playing meta. Everybody's playing central. If you want to get the best out of Honus, you definitely do need to play him central. And this formation that we have here, it is kind of like a double build for him, right? He can play right wing as well. I'll show you a couple of alterations you can do to that. If you want to play him right wing, this build is kind of like a hybrid. And I think it's the best build for him, to be fair. You've got huge speed, acceleration. His kicking power is over 85. His stamina is over 85. His physical contact is 90. His balance is 95. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession and finishing. All either 95 plus or 90 plus. Which is huge for a car that can play across the middle of the pitch. Because that's the most important position right now in the, in the game. Is attack in midfield and DMF. Now this is how we train him. Right, so 7, 4, 12, 9, 5, 6. 6 into the aerial strength is game changing on this card. However, the one key trick on this Honus card is similar to the Ronaldinho build video I'm going to be bringing out as well. And that is to complement what is weak with this card. Now, there isn't much that Honus is weak with, but if you want to change him to a more kind of right-wing player, you can add more passing, or you want to change him to a little bit more of an attacking midfielder creative player, you can add more passing and take away a bit of shooting or whatever. Now, we did add the ball-carrying second booster to him, and that is going to mean that we're hitting the thresholds exactly where we want to hit him on pretty much everything. Balance, tight possession, dribbling, everything. And also on top of that, we did throw on as his additional skills, double touch, flip flap and weighted pass. I think this is the ultimate build. You saw the clips. We'll show you them again. This is what it's all about. But this is Honus in a nutshell. We had loads more clips, but I do feel like that you're going to get the best out of him if you play him attack and midfielder. I know some people were saying you can train him as an SS or a right winger. With the finishing... I think using him as a whole player attacking midfielder is going to be super OP. And of course, you might ask me as well about the Blitz Curler. Like, is it worth it now? Well, you saw a clip in there. I'll show you the clip at the end as well. The Blitz Curler, lads, it has been nerfed a little bit. You can still score from inside the box or just outside the box very effectively. But if you have other Blitz Curlers, I mean, you're not really going to benefit too much. I don't really feel that you need to have 90 Curl with the Blitz Curler as an animation-based thing. I will show you that clip again, but... Yeah, just let me know what you think, lads. Let me know what you think of this card. I think he's a beast. He definitely is a beast, and he's got insane movement. Let me know what you guys think. Did you spin for him? We got him in three 900-pack spins or three 10-pack spins, 30 spins. Let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, and let me know what you're thinking of the game, lads. We're just fresh off a stream with Honus. I think the game has gone a little bit back again, man, with the AI assistance. But let me know. Am I tripping, or am I onto something? I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.